Mr. Juice Miller walking in with one win and one loss. This will be his third amateur MMA bout. So these guys decided to uh, wear no shin pads. That's actually really awesome. So they're both an even record with one win and one loss. Normally, if you have less than three fights, they have you wear shins unless both parties agree to take them off. So this is pretty cool. This means both of them, they're like, listen, I have one win, one loss. Let me bang. Let's take these shin guards off. That means they're hungry. They're going at it. Yeah, and it's like they're closer to being, you know, at a professional level. So... It's great preparation for the future, especially when you're looking to go pro. Yeah. than his opponent. Looks like they're both in on weight. Morris actually just a little bit under. Morris is wearing a GGG shirt, so I'm wondering oh. uh, we're gonna see some boxing? says no shins, but they actually are wearing shin guards. So it looks like there may actually still be a rule of the three fight. Yeah. Or maybe they decided they're going to save their shins. Yeah, maybe. Or their head, you know. attitude <laughs> Mr. Ian Juice Miller. He looks like he just had a Capri Sun. Yeah. I'm feeling the energy. We have a glove Ooh. touch, nice show of respect. Immediately both going in with that teeth. Checking their distance too, a little in and out. Yeah, bit. they are not wasting any time. A lot of pressure by Morris. Ooh, Juice is trying, or, oh sorry, Nathan. Nathan is trying to wrestle here. Oh, he's got his, oh, he turned it. 
looking oh, for a double looking. unders, but a great pumble by Mr. Morris. Knee by Juice. Oh, oh a slip. No. A slip, slip on the punch. Nice sprawl by Morris. He's got a Dars. Yeah, Ian. Actually, Americana, he has. Ian is slowing it down right here. You can tell he feels comfortable. Oh, but Nathan is putting on the pressure now. So now let go of the grip, grabbing the head. Morris trying to get back up. And Juice doing a good job controlling the pressure. Got him to his back. Now he's looking to pass his guard. A good guard pass he can do here is a no hands pass, but he has to address his neck. He has to address that choke on his neck. I don't think he's in too crazy of danger. However, he must fight the hands. If he doesn't fight the hands, it could get really tight and he could go to sleep here, but it doesn't look locked up. Got the Von Flu choke. Oh, I did not even see that. I didn't see the, I didn't see the top either. Yeah, we, I didn't see the top. Um, the guy's hands were kind of like against the cage, between the cage and So Ian, when you so. are on the bottom and you're holding on to the head, if you do not let go of this, you can get caught in what is called a Von Flu choke, where It's basically his, an offense to an offense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His, his arm pushes your own arm into your throat and it actually chokes you out. So that's one thing about holding on really tight to a guillotine or an over underhook with somebody on top of you. And an absolute great job by Ian Juice Miller out of the training lab. He is officially two and one. Hype. Yeah. Let's see that again. Ooh. A nice comeback off of that swing and a miss on that kick. Man, I have done that before, and your heart just goes crazy for a second. You're like, oh no. It's like those memes where it's like, dun dun, oh no. That's what it feels like when you go to kick and your foot slips out from under you. You slow mo for just a second, but he came out on top, and what a great performance <laughs> from Ian Juice Miller. What oh, Fighting Irish. <laughs> Sound like you got excited there for a sec. <laughs> They took him off. That was quick. Yeah, he's super fast. Yeah.